how staggered was it, Tim? I guess emotionally, when you when they told you that what you were dealing with. Uh, it's the hardest thing I've ever had to hear, and so. Every thought runs through your mind, but as a man, you have a choice. What are you going to do? Are you going to stand up and fight for your life, or are you going to just fade away? ALS is a disease that affects the nervous system. And so as I'm sitting here, my brain can send a message to the muscles in my body to tell me to do certain things. For example, I can tell it to raise my right hand, which is what I'm doing right now. ALS stops that message getting to the muscles. What is happening for Tim, as those messages little by little don't get through, his muscles little by little are wasting away. It showed itself in my muscles. You see my legs twitching and uh, my, my muscles twitching and it showed itself in weakness, and it showed itself in loss of some athletic ability. Those are the early signs. Tim's body is in such a state right now that he needs help to do just about everything. He can move his legs still a little bit, and he can move his eyes, but anything physical, we basically have to help him with. Tim needs some help with breathing. Most of us don't even give breathing a thought, perhaps not even once during the day. Tim has lost his ability to speak, and for a while, Tim was able to call me by speaking to his phone. He would say, call dad, and his phone would automatically call me. And I remember um, we were in this room and Tim's brother Andrew was here with his son Judah. And Judah had just learned to say daddy for the first time. And that was the very same day Tim had changed my name. He said to me, dad, I changed your name in my phone. You're now Yo-Yo because the phone doesn't recognize when I say the word dad. So now I have to say call Yo-Yo. And just hearing little Judah say dad for the first time to his dad and hearing from my son that he couldn't say dad anymore, I still can feel that. His physical strength has declined, but mentally, <laughs> his brain is the strongest muscle anyone would ever come against. ALS does not rob people of their mental capabilities. Fortunately, he's able to continue doing a lot of things. He's written a couple of books, one of which he did completely with his eyes on that computer screen. He became this accomplished author. The first book, Blitz Your Life, ended up being an award-winning book, and the other book that he did was a devotional for athletes called On Turf As It Is In Heaven. For Tim to write, he looks at a keyboard on a computer screen, and he spells out these words by looking at a letter. And so what would take someone just a matter of seconds Tim has to work, ultimately, hours to even get out shorts amount of writing. It's really quite an achievement. One of the things that he said in his book and that I really take to heart, he says, we all come with an expiration date, so stop wasting your time. Tim has received many awards since he's been diagnosed with ALS. He's received several from the ALS Association for his fundraising efforts and the team spirit that he brings. Tim won the ALS Hero Award. That was for the inspiration that he is to people who have ALS and people who are caregiving for ALS. At this time, the Clarenceville School District is honored to rename David B. McDowell Field to David B. McDowell Field at Shaw 
Stadium. Yeah. Our high school has honored Tim by naming the stadium after him. The impact I think that Tim has left on the Clarenceville community is hard to put into words. I can't say thank you enough. There's too many people I have to thank. So I'll just thank you all from the bottom of my heart. I love you. Tim wanted to make it clear it wasn't the Tim Shaw Stadium. He realized that he and his brothers and our family were all part of that success. It was just super special to be a part of that and be there to see the love and support that our school community still has for Tim. When I think back to the days that Tim was at Penn State, even now the people that contact him and tell him they've watched his career, they've watched what's been happening to him in his life and how much it's impacted them is amazing. We have the Tim Shaw Thrive Award here. See, the award is given to a player every single year that has had to overcome challenges and adversity, maybe not on the level of Tim, but still we wanted to not only recognize those attributes, but, but really Tim and what his life has stood for. They remember him as the person more than the athlete, and I think that speaks a lot for who he is. You know, when you talk about the heroes and the legends of Penn State football and Penn State University and this Happy Valley community, uh, there's no better representative than Tim Shaw. John and I looked at uh, what would be the best fit for that last spot uh, of the 89. So we went out and <clears throat> we're going to sign, an sign a linebacker, special teams player to fit the, on the active roster. The Titans making Tim a Titan for life was an amazing gesture. We were at, ironically, 89 players on the roster, and you know the thought popped into my head, hey, uh, why don't we make this guy a, a titan for life? A lot of you guys in this room have done this before. We're gonna put pen to paper and make it official. Um, Tim will be on our active roster. He will show up on the wire tomorrow. Of course, he asked how much his signing bonus was, uh, which I thought was funny. What's the uh, signing bonus looking like? <laughs> Just extremely proud to know him and then what he's done for our football team since has been outstanding. In this building, our players, coaches, staff, I mean, just whenever we get a chance to see him here, it's a blessing. Tim is a part of us. I appreciate his willingness and ability to come in here and be a part of what we're doing, to watch practice, to be involved in meetings, and uh, to help out wherever he can. You see how he lives day to day. You see the passion he brings into the facility. Just having him there and shows how much he cares about us, this team, this organization. He's a guy that means the world to us. His love of his teammates is something that I'll always appreciate, and I hope that we can exemplify that, that same type of care and love for, for each other. He never quits. He fights every day, and he puts the team first. If you want to ask what a, a Titan looks like, you look at Tim Shaw. There's a mantra around the training facility here in Nashville. It's called Tennessee Tough. By its very nature, Tennessee Tough isn't saying that everything is smooth. It's saying you're tough enough to handle any adversity. That's who we are. That's our brand to the core. And going through ALS and all the things that life has certainly handed him, his mindset is tougher than his body. I'm sure his body's probably told him several times, you're done, but Tim's mind says, no, I'm not. He keeps fighting. And we want that same thing in our players. It's Tim Shaw. Tennessee Tough is Tim Shaw, a guy who will stare at adversity and show everyone that he'll do everything he can to power through it, to battle through it. That's what it means to be Tennessee Tough.
When people look at Tim, they're amazed because they see that he's not slowing down. He's still living his life. He's still going out and doing things. He's still spending time with his nieces and nephews and his brothers, and, and he's still traveling, and he's still living life to the fullest. Since the diagnosis of ALS, has it changed him? Not one lick. Three, two, one, go. One of the things he said is he will not let three letters define him. He did not want to be put in a bubble. He didn't want to be specially protected. He just wanted to do some fun stuff. He said, Dad, put me in the convertible and drive me around. Do whatever. I've never heard him say anything other than, one, I'm going to beat it, and two, I'm going to live life to the fullest. Tim embodies somebody that is handling the pressures and the burdens of life. He's doing everything in his power to be an advocate for those who need hope, for those who need something to believe in. Tim continues to inspire others to be their best and to lead their best life. To my friends and family, I couldn't do this without you. I need all of you. Your words, actions, and sometimes inactions make all the difference to the quality of my everyday. I'm so lucky and so thankful to have you.